It's one of the world's busiest thoroughfares, Oxford Street, London. And like many another in Britain's noisy, fume-filled towns and cities, a street of adventure where the pedestrian competes with the motor car for room to move. It's jammed today and even more jammed tomorrow as the traffic builds up. Every year in Britain, there are 350,000 road casualties, three out of four in built-up areas. And every year, too, more and more space is taken by cars, with streets where people live turned into car parks interfering with essential services. And it's not only the dustman who suffers. The vehicles of Britain cause huge delays, the cost of which has been worked out at over 500 million pounds a year. The scrap heaps tell their story of a world made ugly as well as dangerous by the motor car. And finding a way to live with it means nothing less than a revolution in the layout of our cities, an end to street systems as we know them. This report points the way. It's the result of a three-year study of the long-term problem of traffic in towns and cities, led by Professor Buchanan, who once called Oxford Street the most uncivilized street in Europe. And here's its vision of the Oxford Street of tomorrow, with traffic and pedestrians on different levels. The main idea, to build cities with districts where traffic won't be allowed at all. Today, 11 million cars are on the roads. By 1970, there'll be 18 million. Inside 40 years, 40 million. To keep them all moving means motorways and flyovers and underpasses. It means traffic surveys, bold ideas and big spending. It means our towns and cities must be redesigned and rebuilt over the next 50 years, with their centres on two and even three levels, and traffic and pedestrians kept strictly apart. With its main network roads under the present surface of the city, London would be transformed to give traffic-free areas on a new ground level over the existing one. 